Nisha Medical Group is a private thoracic facility in British Columbia currently and in the process of expanding across Canada. The bigger picture of right now nuclear medicine is becoming more known given the advancement in prostate cancer where you're able to diagnose and treat precisely to the cancer cell while, while bypassing healthy tissue. Having said that, we're also able to target and treat other indications, not only in prostate cancer. So there will be more treatment, more for breast cancer, kidney cancer, liver, and other type of cancers, as well as neurology indications, so Alzheimer, and other clinical indications. Nuclear medicine is essentially the sort of the inverse of radiology. So if you think of radiology, which I think everyone has a good intuitive understanding of, that's taking an external beam, shooting it through a patient, and kind of looking at the collected photons to get ideas around what's going on anatomically. In nuclear medicine, we're doing the reverse. My latest CT scan uh, at, at BC Cancer showed that the cancer was progressing and spreading through through my body at which point my oncologist asked me if I had heard of uh, Initio and and the treatment that they were offering here in, in BC. Nuclear medicine changed a lot of what is going on for patients. You know patients in the past when they have disease we have the first thing to do is to investigate inside of the body. We have to make a map of wh where the disease is and see exactly where it stands and choose the right treatment. What is fantastic about nuclear medicine today, we are able to do a full map in 3D, in three dimension, of the whole body in color without any pain, without any side effect for the patient. All of a sudden you get, uh, get some biopsies done here, Gleason scores 10 out of 10, and, and you get told that it's metastasized into your bones and, and you've got a three to five year life expectancy. It definitely changes your outlook on life, that's for sure. The, the communication with Initio was tremendous. The, the ability to, to talk back and forth, talking about the treatment, uh, the economics of the treatment, the options available, um, all the things that, that a person needs to know was, uh, was done well by the initial medical group staff and, and uh, thus I ended up looking at this as the option. I, I did consider going to another country to get treatment. I, at one point I thought I might go to Australia and have, have a um, lutetium 177. I could have, and I, I inquired to uh, Germany and the UK. I think the most important thing you want is for the oncologists who are treating all these people to recommend to uh, the, that the availability does exist of getting an, an immediate or a, a fairly quick PSMA PET scan and treatment with uh, something like lutetium-177 and other isotopes when they become available. This type of treatment is important because it's a new approach to the treatment of cancer. Before we only had surgery, uh, chemotherapy, uh, radiation, external therapy, but now we have the ability to treat internally with radiation and give much higher doses to the tumor. So the treatment uh, that we're doing here at Initio has really uh, improved the uh, life of patients with prostate cancer. Almost all the patients have responded to the treatment, at least on some level, and some patients have seen complete disappearance of their disease. In, in one way, I'm, I'm lucky to live here in British Columbia because Initio is, is uh, headquartered here in BC. If, if I was somewhere else in Canada, I'd have to travel here to receive this treatment. And we're lucky here in Canada that this treatment is only available because of Initio. Right now, we're probably seeing, we've seen a few patients where the radioligand therapy has essentially been a silver bullet and has helped them to achieve long-term remission in almost like throwing a light switch, you know, switch off, cancer off, disappeared. I would, I would ask the question, like, why, 
why is lutetium treatment not the the first the first treatment for this kind of of prostate cancer for PSMA prostate cancer and why isn't this kind of cancer in, in prostate cancer patients uh, tested for immediately so that so that they could use this therapy ahead of ahead of chemotherapy our goal at an issue is to work together with public institution and public health authorities to help them expand their infrastructure to allow more capacity while maintaining a sustainable and affordable publicly funded service. When we start providing this, this treatment, it was the first time in my life to physically feel someone's emotions just by looking into their eyes. I could see their hope and that's what keeps us going. This is why we do what we do, is to provide that hope, prolonging life and improving quality of life.